On the first video, you have learned about some basic concept on function and also the terms on domain and range. So in this next video, we will uh, go specific on domain and range, but uh, we will talk about how to specify the domain. Let's continue. The definition of a function is not really complete unless its domain is specified explicitly. We know that the range is a result or the output of assigning the value of the domain through the function. In general, the domain for a function f is the set of all real numbers. But for economic model, the domain is specified as the set of non-negative integers. The reason is for rationality. For instance, uh, we cannot say that price is negative. If we know that price can be, uh, a good can be free. The, pr the price is not negative, but free means the price is equal to zero. Or for example, uh, production is in halt. We don't say that uh, the quantity produced is negative, but the quantity produced is just equal to zero. So that is why um, in economic model, the domain is uh, non-negative integers. It can be zero and positive values. And to specify a domain, we can use this convention. It is it said that a if a function is defined using an algebraic formula, the domain consists of all values of the independent variable for which the formula gives a unique value, unless another domain is explicitly mentioned. So what does this um, convention mean? Let's take an example, fx equals to 1 over x plus 3. For this function to have a solution, we cannot have the denominator equal to zero. So uh, we could specify the domain by solving the denominator as x plus 3 cannot be equal to zero. In other words, x cannot be equal to minus 3. Thus, the domain would be all real numbers except x does not equal to minus 3. So let's take another example. Function of x equal to the square root of 2x plus 4. So for this function to have a solution, we cannot have a square root of a negative number. So we try to solve the equation inside the square root to define the domain. We have 2x plus 4 should be positive. We will have 2x greater than minus 4, then x is greater than minus 2. So the domain of the, for this uh, function would be all the real number that are greater than 2. Or we can write it as an interval minus 2 until infinity. So that's how we specify the domain for a function.